Hi, my name is Jemima and I work for Design Club and I'm really thrilled to be judging the Design a Sustainable City competition for this year's STEM Clubs Week. So the entries have been amazing and there's been so much good work put in and we've just really loved going through them and I feel like I've just been sort of drowned in a world of flowers and bees and beehives and mole hills and little forests and um, rainwater butts and urban farms and it's just been a really amazing journey and thank you so much to all of you who've taken part. So um, just to let you know we had kind of four criteria for judging the winners and runners up so the first thing we judged on was um, creativity and the second was ingenuity and then sustainability and so that was really kind of awareness and knowledge of sustainability issues and then the final point was um, actually following the brief and, and taking consideration of all the eight points that are in the brief. So um, now I'm going to tell you who the winners are. So the primary runner-up are Pratamesh and Pranav and they did a really amazing presentation. Their city was called Simpler City and um, they had lots of um, things that other children also had but the way they presented was really really good and very professional. Uh, they had recycled plastic and glass as materials. They had lots of use of natural resources. Uh, they had solar panels and wind turbines, rainwater harvesting. Um, they, the thing that I really liked is they had organic allotments with timetables so that everybody in the city could have a go at farming on the allotments. And yeah, it was just a really lovely um, idea and really well brought together. So well done, you guys. A proper system for collecting and recycling waste will ensure that biological wastes are converted into biogas and energy. Areas will be assigned for organic farming and the residents will be encouraged to grow fruits and vegetables using a timetable. They will be rewarded by giving discounts in council tax and providing them with discount coupons. The recycling plant will use the compost to also produce fertilizer for these farms. And the primary winner is Emily. She did a really beautiful um, sort of response to the brief. So she did an amazing mind map where she carefully considered every single item that was in the brief. And uh, she followed that up with a really beautiful drawing um, and some really lovely ideas in there. Like she had these um, beautiful buildings, these homes with um, vertical gardens. And she had a hospital with a, a swimming pool on the roof. And she had a, a school where um, the, um, the windows could slide back so the children could go and experience outdoor learning uh, when I guess the weather was, was lovely. She had this nice idea of the, the pavements being able to take in energy from people walking. So the kind of the kinetic energy was then used as a power source. And yeah, it was just a, a really um, beautiful execution of the idea and a really, um, a, a really nice sort of creative response, which I really loved. So well done, Emily. Okay, and then on to the secondary um, winner and runner-up. So uh, the runner-up secondary was Bethany, who had an amazing city called Economia. And she really thought a lot about the brief and really responded well to all the eight items on the brief. Uh, I love the fact she used salvage materials. So um, she talked about using old shipping containers to uh, create buildings and housing. Uh, she talked about using sheep's wool for insulation and also the roads were made of recycled plastic. So that was just a really good idea. And there was lots of ingenuity and thoughtfulness went into, into that um, response. So well done, Bethany. And the secondary winner is uh, Emily. So Emily, you just did a really lovely uh, response, a really lovely execution of your city, uh, Van Am. You put beautiful pictures in your brief and you wrote a lot about each aspect of the brief. So it was a really um, well done uh, entry. Uh, you had some really nice kind of um, user you had some really nice ideas in there that really responded to user needs. So you had, um, you ensured that you had uh, refill stations for people's water bottles and uh, you had um, stations that would recycle clothes and turn them into rags, which, just, which is just fantastic because recycled clothes are, are, you know, it's often a problem what to do with clothes. So I, I love the way you thought about that. And uh, you had no fly Fridays, which is such a nice idea. 
obviously with coronavirus, we've had the skies being uh, more empty of planes and the idea of having a no fly Friday so that people could experience that day without air pollution, um, without pollution from planes and noise pollution was a really, really lovely idea. And, uh, and also the canals and with a lot of emphasis on boat transport. That was, that was really fantastic. And it was just such a thoughtful and lovely response to um, the competition. Uh, yeah, so Van Am is the winner of the secondary uh, school category. So thank you so much. Um, well done, all of you winners. And thank you everybody for taking part. Um, just because you didn't win, it doesn't mean that you didn't have amazing ideas and you didn't put a lot of effort into your results. We were just so blown away by the response and uh, it was really, really hard to judge. So um, thank you everybody. And uh, yeah, hopefully you will enter the competition next year. Okay, bye.